guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be recording the dollar tree full face makeup challenge and this is the look that i came up with it's pretty basic pretty easy look so if you guys want to know how i achieved this look just keep on watching okay so let's get started i have my dollar tree makeup right here and i'm gonna start off by wiping my face because i washed my face already but i don't know i still like i was setting up the lights and everything and i feel kind of dirty so i'm just gonna give my face a little wipe and my brows are pretty messy right now, but I am going to be starting with brows. And for the brows, I'm going to be using um, this CoverGirl um, Sun Kisser Bronzer. And I'm just going to be using my normal little angled brush. It's dirty. So let's get started. I'm kind of nervous, not gonna lie. I feel like it's gonna come out horrible. But we'll see. I tried this already on my arm and it's not really pigmented, but I mean, I guess we'll go for like a natural look. Oh, it's really brown. kind of light for me actually there wasn't anything for brows so I feel like I'm just gonna make them really messy and I just conceal them really good with the foundation I got like a really creamy product I already hit pan and it's kind of hard to work with it's like really really creamy it's like a mousse almost so like, I'm really, literally gonna be really messy. I'm just gonna, like, brush it on all over my brow. Just to get even coverage. Because there's not much I could do with this, honestly. And I tried to see the palettes. And these, I would have used, like, this brown shade right here. But it's so sparkly. And they didn't have anything matte. So, this is what we have to work with. Why does it keep getting so burnt? I'm gonna turn the mirror off. Okay. My eyebrows always look so messy before I conceal them anyways. So this is actually nothing new. Oh my gosh. Ew, what have I done? It's kind of gross. So now I'm just gonna brush them out. Ew, there's literally like little chunks of the mousse. Why does this one look so light and this one looks so dark? whatever okay moving on to conceal the brows i'm gonna use the foundation i found here it is this is what it looks like and it's in the color natural there was like either really light shades or really dark shades so i don't know this one's kind of kind of matches hopefully it's not really watery because back when um i used i started makeup i used to actually go to like dollar tree for makeup and one time i tried this foundation and it was so watery 
then I couldn't find any. I bought an angled, a Wet n Wild angled brush at Dollar Tree before, but they didn't have any, and I had lost it. So I'm just gonna be using my Mac to conceal. Yeah, it's really watery. It's really watery, but it actually cleaned it up pretty well. There's like no coverage at all. It actually looks really bad. <laughs> I feel like just giving up already to be honest. I don't know what I'm doing. I've seen videos of people doing this and it looks so easy, but it's so hard. Okay, I'm gonna put on this little moisturizer. And I got this little beauty blender and honestly, it's so rough. I can't even like squish it because it's hard to squish it. And I dampened it a little bit, but it felt the same before as it does now. So, okay. I don't know if I should go light or hard with the foundation since it's so light. I feel like my face is going to feel disgusting if I go in too much, but I need some kind of coverage, right? Oh, I forgot I had like a whole, like a lot on my finger. I'm just going to dab it everywhere. Oh, this hurts. I might as well be rubbing it with my hands because this beauty blender sucks and it's like absorbing all the product. I think I'm just going to go ahead and blend it with this wet and wild brush I got because that really hurt. Damn. And I didn't pick up a concealer because they didn't have many shade choices and the lightest one that they had was darker than the foundation I got so oh maybe I should have got it for contouring I didn't think of that honestly I think I look worse now than I did before with just a naked face I mean, it doesn't feel too bad, but from up close, it looks really gross. So, the camera got cut off, but I'm back. And I already contoured with the same um, little, um, what's this called, um, cream contour. And it actually, it wasn't too bad. Um, I said that it was like awful on the brows, but it worked for what it was meant to do and I'm just gonna go in really deep on my forehead because I have a really big forehead mm. not really doing too much but it's something I used to have like a sharp bass jawline back in like middle school now I have like a freaking double chin and it's so sad. Like I remember feeling my jawline right here and it used to just like stick out and it was like sharp and I used to like like to stick my finger right there and feel how sharp it was and back then like having a sharp jawline wasn't a thing and now that it is I don't have one. <laughs> okay but Moving on, I'm gonna open this up and 
I think I'm just gonna do like a brown eye because that's what I usually stick to. And I'm not trying to complicate my life today since I already don't know what I'm doing. But I'm gonna try to use the little brochita that it came with. Bro, I remember these used to be like what you used to use. And I one time I bought like a pack of these at Claire's. And they were like zebra print <laughs> back in the day when Claire's was a thing. Okay, so I really don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to go in with this shade right here. And just put it all over my lid and the crease. Oh shit, pretty pigmented. This is kind of cute. And I'm just gonna slowly bring it up without adding any more product. And then I'm just going to use the clean side to kind of blend it. And that's literally all I'm going to do because I'm scared to do more. I don't have pio holes, I'm just kind of itchy. But bro, last time I did have pio holes was in high school. And somebody gave them to me. I don't know who, but I have my suspicions. And I never said shit either. I would just stay away from the bitch. Like, mm, don't be leaning on my shoulder. Because I know it was you. I'm just going to go in with the same shade. And kind of blend it out under my eye. liner liquid liner and this is the wet and wild one and i already had this one so i didn't buy another one because this is the one i use but wish me luck i got these if it decides to focus there we go okay um they're the brand Sassy and Cheek. Oh. So it comes with glue, but I'm not even going to bother using it because I've actually tried to use this before. And it just sucks. First eye. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, right? It feels weird. It feels really uncomfortable. I think they're too big for me. The lashes are on. Bro, this is what I hate about myself. Like, look at this. They're like extra boobs. I can't even wear strapless shirts because that'd be coming out and it's embarrassing. But, anyways. Um, I also got this Wet n Wild little cream palette. And I'm gonna be applying the this shimmery shade for inner corner highlight glitters are so big and it's really creamy i'm gonna try to use um the light shade either this one or this one for a regular highlight i'm gonna try it on on my hand first it literally does nothing Oh yeah, it did something. I mean, it's not horrible. There we go. Come through Dollar Tree highlight. Oh, 
Okay, I should have picked up like a lip balm because my lips always be dry. But I'm just gonna go in with mascara real quick to clamp on my real lashes with these falsies. And hopefully they don't come off. I could see them if I look up like this. I could see the little hairs. <laughs> Oh my god, it doesn't want to come out. It's a boot. Okay. This is like the old school little brush. It's just like normal little spirals, nothing fancy. So I'm just gonna go in um on my brows a little bit with this to darken them up a little bit. Oh my God, my eyebrows look so bushy. But, don't worry, I'm gonna clean them up a little bit. There we go. Now I have some color on my brows. And this is the last thing. I got this e.l.f. Um, I don't know if it's just lip gloss or lip, liquid lipstick. But this was the only color they had. So I got it. I'm not really a lipstick person. So this color is so bold for me. Like I would never wear something like this. I either just wear like lip gloss or if I wear lipstick, I stick to nudes. And I usually wear glosses because um, my lips are always dry. Um, I have such an ugly lip shape that it's hard for me to outline my lips. Mm, I already applied some to the top lip and I kind of just like blended it down to the bottom because the color is so bold for me. Oh, you see what I mean? <laughs> Too bold. This is the final look. Let me get like some good lighting. Let me fix my freaking chichotas. Let me suck in my lonja. Okay, this is the final look. I mean, it's not too bad. Around eight bucks only I spent for this look. I mean, it's not too bad for eight dollars. I mean, the lip is like out of my comfort zone but if you're into dark lips or maybe your Dollar Tree has like better selection than mine did and maybe I should have bought some Ligas from Dollar Tree too because I'm always getting you that um but yeah this is the final look let me know what you guys think about it let me know if you guys like this video and if you guys have any other ideas for challenges that I could do um if you're not subscribed already please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching bye